As we move forward into the 21st century, there are serious problems that humanity must resolve. Those are undoubtedly the problems of food supply and the environment. Agriculture is an important discipline that seeks to understand the true nature of biological resources, to find solutions to problems that exist around them, and to unlock their hidden potential. Here, at this expansive campus, abound with nature's blessings, what kind of education is underway? At the Okayama University Faculty of Agriculture, join us to study the grandeur of nature and the mysteries of life. Okayama University the merits of this one department approach is it allows for the study of a broad range of disciplines from fundamental sciences to their practical applications and to develop human resources in all of those areas. Operating under that principle, we have divided our instruction and research into four main courses Agrochemical Bioscience, Applied Plant Science, Applied Animal Science, and Environmental Ecology. You can select your courses to follow the progress of the academic year. It's an extremely flexible system. At our Okayama farm, various products are being made in a variety of ways. One of those methods, the Rakuchin system, meaning soft job, is in use to cultivate high-quality strawberries. This system has allowed for low-cost, high-yielding production of strawberries, which are set to require much attention in the pruning and harvesting and are difficult to grow on a large scale. The pride and joy of Okayama, sometimes called the kingdom of fruits, are its grapes. Seedless peonies, an exceedingly valuable variety of grape, are cultivated here. One of the joys of living here is that this kind of products are sold all year round at low prices. Another benefit of the partnership with the area's residents is the chance for students to take part in activities like sweet potato digging at the Okayama farm. The course of agrochemical bioscience seeks to understand the hidden potential and possibilities of the world's various life forms at the molecular level. Sugar chains as well as nucleic acids and proteins are one of essential biomolecules involved in various biological processes. For this reason, sugar chains are sometimes referred to as the third class of biopolymers. Glycoconjugates, which bond sugar chains with other compounds like proteins and liquids, are deeply connected to diseases like allergies and cancer. There are three characteristics of food nutrition, taste, and health maintenance. Using special compounds like catechin and flavonoid, which take part in health maintenance, research is underway to test their antioxidant, anti-allergy, and anti-carcinogenic properties. Furthermore, discoveries are continually being made on the signal transduction mechanisms by which plants sense and respond to various environmental stresses. In the course of applied plant science, a wide variety of research is taking place on topics like the sophisticated application of plant features and the effective production of crops for the health and prosperity of humanity. In modern times, the world lives under threat of a global population explosion. Here at Okayama University, exhaustive research is being conducted on how to increase food production. Part of that research is the development of chemicals to augment the immunities of plants.
In addition to the rice we eat every day, various other kinds of rice are being grown at the Okayama farm. On the Hachihama farm, located on the southern part of the Okayama plains, massive scale harvesting is underway. The harvested akebono rice is used in the student cafeteria in an Okayama University brand Japanese sake. <laughs> Growing flowers is a time honored traditional pastime, but it also has its place in general education. Based on the precepts of modern holy culture, a class using flowers is under development. On the technical side, new flower cultivation methods are being researched using a solidifying medium that hardens soil with special fibers. In fruit production, fruits were once selected only for their size and exterior qualities, but nowadays they have begun being selected more for their fragrances and taste. At this laboratory, research is proceeding to clarify generation mechanisms of the particular fragrances and amino acids that compose the scent and tastes of fruits. In Tsudaka branch of the Field Science Center, we are working on the efficient production of Japanese black calves by using ICT technologies. At the end of the summer, students not only from Okayama University, but also from west part of the Maine and Shikoku Islands, stay over at the ranch and practice various technologies about production of Japanese black cattle. The course of applied animal science seeks out ways to implement effective reproduction and medical assistance of animals, and the sophisticated application of animal features so that animal resources can be used to benefit the health and prosperity of humanity. The links between animals and pathogens, or animals and parasites, are shrouded in mystery. The Animal Physiology Research Unit attempts to elucidate these problems. Did you know that in recent years, the decline in the fertility rates of cattle is becoming a global problem? The Reproductive Physiology Research Unit covers the discoveries contributing to increases in artificial fertilization rates for many years. Research conducted in cooperation with the Okayama Prefecture Livestock Research Center is giving us a better understanding of the nutrient absorption in the gastrointestinal tracts of dairy cattle and the factors that influence the nutrient metabolism and animal health. In the infertility treatments, the embryologist who achieves fertilization in vitro by sperm injection, cryopreserves gametes and cultures the embryos are conjugal existence necessary to Japan where more than 17% of couples are infertile. However, there were no systematic courses to train embryologists in Japan. Considering this state of affairs, Okayama University has established the Assisted Reproductive Technology Center in collaboration between faculties of agriculture and health sciences. Setting our sights from the local level to the global level, the course of environmental ecology seeks to develop methods for environmental conservation, preservation of the ecosystem, sustainable consumption of food and resources, and effective biological reproductive systems. The Evolutionary Ecology Research Unit attempts to unravel the mysteries surrounding the biodiversity in different environments. We'll cover the development of groundbreaking pest control systems. As fall deepens, research on the expedient restoration of natural ecosystems occurs at the Mount Handa Nature Education and Research Forest, overlooking the Okayama University campus.
Right now, Earth is losing vast swaths of her woodlands to desertification, large-scale fires, and slash-and-burn agriculture. In the Physiological Plant Ecology Research Unit, we'll focus on the various forest vegetation found in semi-arid land and temperate human lands, explore the physiological properties of things like forest preservation mechanisms and the water use of trees which structures forests. Specifically, the research that has been going on for many years in the Chinese semi-arid lands around the region of Inner Mongolia. As this field of research broadens into the rest of the world, many foreign exchange students and foreign researchers are coming to Okayama University to be a part of it. The first event of the fall is, what should we call it? A sort of harvest festival featuring produce more importantly, handmade produce unique to the Faculty of Agriculture. The pure mysteries of life and nature become science at the Okayama University Faculty of Agriculture. All of the research staff of the course of agrochemical bioscience the course of applied plant science, the course of applied animal science, and the course of environmental ecology are awaiting your arrival. <laughs>